Hello and welcome to another leak code video. Today we're going to be doing leak code number 1963, minimum number of swaps to make the string balanced. And so you're given a zero index string s or of even of even length n, and the string consists exactly of n over two opening brackets and n over two closing brackets. So the string will have the same amount of each, but it's balanced if it is the empty string. It can be written as a b or it can be written as c. Okay, and so you may swap the brackets at any time and return the number of minimum swaps to make the string balance. So in our first example, we have a string like this. Right, and so this is pretty straightforward. You would need one swap, so it needs to be a swap here to make that balance, and then that would give you, if you swap those around, that would give you this, which would be balanced. Okay, so in our second example, we have this. and we need to make two swaps. And so essentially what you'd always wanna do is whenever you wanna swap a open and a close parenthesis, you always wanna take an open parenthesis from the back because what are our rules for a balance, balance parenthesis, right? So the rules for balance parentheses is there can't be more closed parentheses than there are open. And so you'd wanna have the open parentheses as fast as possible to minimize the chances that you have an imbalanced uh, string. And so you're going to want to swap this with this, and then you're, you're going to want, you're going to always want to make your closing brackets as far back as possible, and then your open brackets, or yeah, and then your open brackets as far forward as possible. So then you swap these two as well. Let's take a look at that would look like. So it look like this. And then we would have two open brackets and two closed brackets, and so this is actually balanced because this is balanced, and then that outside thing is balanced as well. Okay, and then finally for our last one, this is already balanced. All right, so let's figure out how we would actually do this problem. So we are going to use the example of, let's use three closed and three open parentheses here. Okay, so let's just have three open and three closed. Three closed to start off. So what you can, what you might think to do is just look how many the, of like, uh, close parentheses there are that are too early in as like you know so what are our rules for parentheses right so open has to come before closed right so number n open has to be greater or equal to closed right okay and so if that's the case then here we would have like one extra closed two extra closed three extra closed three extra closed parentheses because we don't have any open ones. So you might think like the swaps would be three, but yeah, it's two. And so notice that, let's say we make one swap. Just say we swap these two. What, what, how many, how many extras do we have now? So it would look like this, right? And we would have a closed. So how many extras do we have? So this is bound, so we can just ignore that. Now we have this, this thing right here. And so there's only one extra closed parenthesis that comes too early. And so when you have three that are imbalanced, for every swap, you would subtract two. Okay, and now we kind of have like an intuition of what we're doing. So what we can actually do is for every swap, we would subtract two. And so what we can actually do for this is it's pretty straightforward. We can just go down the parentheses and count up how many extras we have. And then we're gonna keep track of like the maximum we have. And then every time we we have an extra, we are gonna subtract two. So what's that gonna look like? Let's 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 show this. So we're gonna have like a result. So let's just uh, just put that over here. So res equals zero for now. And then we're gonna have like a current count. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna say this is an extra parenthesis. So for an extra, we can just say let, let's like subtract. Let's just say uh, our current count is negative one here. Okay, and let's say any time our count is less than zero, that means we have an extra close parenthesis, so then we need to swap, right? And so if we swap, we're gonna put a close in the back and an open in the front, and then our current count will actually add two, because we're removing a close and adding an open, right? And then our result is gonna be one here. And so every time we make a swap, we're gonna add one to the result. So now our count is gonna be one. Now we're gonna have a close, which will subtract one. So our count will be zero. Now we have another close, which will subtract one. So our count will be negative one. We need to make a swap again because our count is negative. 
So we're going to add another one here. We're going to add two, our count will be one. And then we have an open, open, open. So obviously we don't need to do anything there. But essentially we're just looking for closed parentheses. And any time the closed parentheses needs to be swapped, then you know there has to be a swap. So that's that's a rule is we're just going to look for closed parentheses that can't be where they possibly are because closed parentheses have to come after open parentheses. You can't have more closed than open. And so we're just going to keep track of the count of the closed parentheses. And every time there is there are too many closed parentheses, we're just going to say there has to be a swap there. And for a swap, if the count's negative one and we put a close in the back and we add an open, that's a shift of two, right? So if we had one extra closed, if we put it in the back and we put the open in the front, now we're at a positive one. And every time we do that swap, that means we say we needed to we needed to do a swap. Okay, so now I think we actually have everything we need to do our code. So it's a pretty straightforward algorithm. There's almost no code. Once you understand this process of we just count the extra closed parentheses, and every time there's an extra one, we have to have a swap because we can't have something start with, you know, like we can't have something start with this, right? Every time we have an unmatched closed parentheses, we know there's a swap. And then every time there's a swap, it's pretty easy. Count plus equals two. Okay, and we add one to the result as well. Okay, so now we have enough to code it. So let's actually code it. So we're gonna have a result. We're gonna have a count for our parentheses. Then we're gonna say for care in S, if care equals open parentheses, we are going to add to the count because we'll make the count positive. Then if character is closed parentheses, we are going to subtract from the count. And if the count is less than zero, meaning we have an unmatched closed parentheses, then what do we have to do? We have to add, add one to the result and we have to add two to the count. So essentially the count will really only go to like negative one and every time the count goes to negative one, we're gonna say there's a swap that needs to happen there. The count's gonna go to one and we're gonna add one to the result. And that's pretty much all the code I think. So now let's just return the result. So as soon as you, as soon as you know like what are the rules of parentheses, the rules of parentheses are we can't have any unmatched closed parentheses and you know, okay, let's start looking for those unmatched closed parentheses and every time we make a swap, it's we're swapping two. It's not just one. So if we have three unmatched, like in this example, it's only two swaps because the first swap will take care of two of them and then we need one more. Okay. So now let's try to submit that. Oh, I actually have the result. That's wrong. Interesting. Let's see what we did here. Uh, so we're actually getting the wrong result for test case one. Okay, interesting. So if character is... Uh, okay, so I think we just mixed them up here. So it needs to be an open and a closed. Uh, let's see here. Three expected two. Oh, and did I ever? Oh, yeah, I never did the. Uh, so this this count should be plus two. Like I said, it's not plus one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, you don't you don't you don't need a while loop for the count being less than zero because the smallest count will ever be is negative one. Anytime it's negative one, we will just make it one again. Okay, and we are good there, so that's good to know. And now what is the time and space complexity for that? Uh, let's take a look. So the time, so this is just an n big O of n solution because we're just sleeping through every character one time. And for space, this should be constant extra space because we just have the result in the count. And so yeah, I think I think you might oversimplify or you might like overcomplicate the problem. Once you learn what you're looking for, the rules of the parentheses, you should be good to uh, solve this one. Okay. So that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully you liked the video. And if you did, please like it and uh, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.